I want to ask yourself, do you really want a bag? Do you really want a bag or do you do what it takes to go get a bag? I, I walked to the store. My mama said she wants some pig feet and pig. I walked to the store and got those bitches for it. You know why? Because that's my mama. If you don't do shit for your mama, you will do something you will. You will lay down up your legs to get some dick, but you can't do nothing for your mama, your daddy. My daddy called me, guess what? My daddy take me to court. But you don't, guess what? My daddy got down and I took care of him. Oh, he did. My mama said he ain't do nothing for me. It don't matter, motherfucker. You go get a relationship with your daddy and see how that is. You don't know what your mama did to your daddy. Do you know what your daddy did to your mama? Stop playing. Now, we gonna talk some real shit now. Pass it to you, bro. Niggas running around and whatever. I'm just saying, I don't give a fuck if you white, black, Puerto Rican, whatever. Niggas doing like, niggas don't, you go get your info. Before. When somebody say something to you, do your, do your studying. Don't just listen to somebody. When you listen to somebody all the time, you will never get anywhere. You listen to them and, 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 and because you get smart. How would you know if somebody was wrong or right? You have to listen to them. That's wisdom. Muslims, you know, I ain't, I ain't no Muslim. I'm keep it real, but I know I've been around a lot of Muslims. It's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So when you you have to listen to a motherfucker. Don't just go out there bogarting and doing crazy shit, because crazy shit going to give you some crazy-ass results. Some smart shit going to give you smart results. So remember that. So I had a guy at work. He asked me, he said, uh... He said, I was like, man, how would you, what type of woman would you marry? I said, all right, okay. I ain't never really had nobody ask me that question. He said, what woman would you marry? I said, I would marry a very smart, tough, educated woman. I started the whole band. Because, see, I'll test any, I'm going to test you out. If you're a woman, you better test me out because I'm testing you out. Now, she like, I'm, I'm going to see if she want me to eat. Do she like to eat? Do she cook? You know what I'm saying? Then when I do something for her, I want to see how, how, how is it? Is she like, man, fuck, this nigga going to do what he got to do for a reason. But if she like, you know what, he does that for me. Then my bag can, you know what I'm saying, my bag can run up. Shit, I got to take care of his shit. My bag got to run up. I don't give a fuck. I ain't in for the money. They in for the money. How many motherfucking niggas you see running around getting their titties dead, getting their ass dead? And they got all the power in the world. First of all, the first power that we really want to be honest with is the pussy. A nigga don't give shit. At the end of the day, if you got nice titties, good hair, fat ass, guess what they want? Get in that pussy. So, when nigga, hey, nobody never said that on social media, Facebook, YouTube, or whatever. That main objective that a nigga want. He looking at that ass, but he want to get in the pussy. So you can say what you want to say. Niggas buy niggas buy jewelry. Niggas buy rims on their cars to get some pussy. Cause you know can't no nigga fuck with you when you pull up and you going hard. Niggas over there struggling, ain't got nothing to ain't got nothing to eat. Niggas ain't niggas got big blunts that they could smoking good. You know them females gonna come over there. You getting the pussy. Nigga, stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> man, know the game and I know how to play. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I'm really not. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, I'm trying to make a little YouTube channel or whatever. But everybody asked me, I said, who is your favorite rapper? Who is my favorite rapper? I mean, it just, you got to give me a number. You talking about top three, top five. I go five. My top five favorite rappers. This is what I do. Top five. Shout out to Coach. Shout out to now for them too. My favorite rappers, my top five favorite rappers. Gucci man. Gucci. Boosie. Boosie a bad nigga. You can't fuck with me. He'll talk shit to anybody. Cause my name OJ. I gotta say OJ the juice, man. I got two left. Oh shit. I guess I had to say Tupac. Ooh, I don't know how to I can't I, I think the last one. Ooh. You know what I'm gonna do? On the last five one, I'm going to say the city of Memphis Funny, and leave it at that. Company. I'm done with it. I think I had, uh, but you got to know how to control yourself because if you go out there and get some good pussy and you don't know how to control yourself, you'll be going to kill somebody and lose your whole life. You got to know how to shit. Hey, you got to know how to tell a motherfucker, I got good dick. You got good pussy or a good dick. That's when you can walk away and, 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 and you're good.
Let me run some ads because I hear everyone talking about ads. I ain't never ran up almost five minute minutes, video, but I'm gonna do it today. Now I'm down to 20. Building some funnel website and everything. I didn't really know what I was doing back then. And you know, a lot of people don't understand. You can make a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars. We don't know what to do with it. You ain't gonna have shit. You ain't gonna have a motherfucking dime because you ain't know how to balance and budget or check. You don't know how to save. You got a savings account. Start with a savings account. You ain't gotta have a checkings account because a checkings account and the savings account is totally different. It's totally opposite. What's down? Yeah, bust down. Mm -hmm. I you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know. Drinking I'm going to tell you something, though, what I did. I, I got you got to think about it. When somebody said, oh, he got fake jury on. Do you know how much fake jury costs now? Fake jury is not cheap. <laughs> so, guess what? If you smart, nigga, get you some fake jury, then you're going to boss up to some real jury. You'll boss up to some real jury, nigga. And keep your hair cut, boy. I plan. I'm trying to tell you how to... I didn't, hey, I walk, man, my grandma said, boy, you young as hell. I didn't hear you turn out to be that smart because I listened to you. When you told me, when my grandma told me something about slave trades and all that shit, I tuned straight into it. I was on it every second. Boy, you knocking at my door at 6 o'clock in the morning and your mama in there sleep and your daddy sleep. No, I want to hear what you talking about, grandma. I need to know. That this is a six. I ain't never been like six a minutes on a video. You're at ballet. My Rolls Royce or my Lambo or anything's pulling up. You can smoke what you want to smoke. You can get drunk all day, but if you take care of beatings, what can they say about it? What can they say about it? This a part of the talk. I mean, I hate to see like females run around. They all clean and shit, but they run into the. They can't wait to get to the club and get dressed up, but your kids nose got snot running down and all that shit. You looking clean? Why ain't your kid looking clean? He got me fucked up. And I, I took to be the real person. That's what I thought you were about to say. I smoke. Thinking about it. Drink. Mm. Man, that's crazy. Like the fuck? Oh, yeah, All that. Like, a lot of people talk about Charles and White. Charles and White. Uh, Charles and White. He. I'm trying to just fucking pay my rent. That he ain't nothing but the police. That nigga just coming out just trying to get his money. He said a lot of shit. That nigga had me laughing like a motherfucker when I watched the video. I can't wait to meet him. I want I want them to interview me and Charles White at the same time. At the same goddamn time. And I'm going to feature I'm going to play that song. At the same damn time. Fuck with me, Charles. Say cheese. All y'all niggas give me an interview. All you motherfuckers. Vlad TV nigga. Fuck all. Hey, give me a bag. I, I talk a bunch of shit. You guys take anything away. Porn star, Rico Strong, Pinky, you want me to fuck something on the video? I do it. Brand, right now. Learn sales. I don't give a fuck. Because <laughs> I get down and like that. that. Shit, I ain't no bullshit around this motherfucking shit. Paper we want some smoke shit. We got smoke for you shit. It's a lot of smoke you can get. We can light a cigarette. You got some smoke, nigga. We light a bunch. You got some smoke. I start my car up early in the morning with them dual pipes. Some smoke come out them bitches. What you talking about? Niggas going to tell me. I'll fuck the shit out of her. Nigga, let me tell you something. If a big baby can come out that motherfucker, we don't give a fuck out of these dickheads. And when that baby come out, they gotta put so stitches in that motherfucker. Cause I got kids. Right people, start selling product or service that you like, trust, and Holla respect. Get enough capital. Oh, just had cash down on map. I know I'm not do car blogs. I had to get into shit today. Yeah, I'll be there.